Eric Keller here with Enthusiast Auto Group. Today we're doing a very fun little, uh, we'll call it an unboxing. Everybody has always wanted to, uh, every enthusiast that is, has always wanted to import a car from Europe. And today we have a container waiting for us, ready for just that. It's an exciting day and, and something uh, that I'm very uh, uh, appreciative of having the opportunity of doing. And uh, it's it's always a lot of fun. It's uh, kind of like Christmas, um, <laughs> especially when you've got something really, really special as we have here today. Uh, this is a, a, well, a container that has just arrived from Germany. And we're gonna be going through and uh, unboxing it and getting it out safe and sound it's been about six weeks since we acquired this car and has uh, made a safe voyage uh, well hopefully we'll see when we open the container here that um, uh, the quality is what i expected it to be both in uh, transport form but also in the condition uh, that uh, uh, it was supposed to be relative to the company that we bought the car from a very very great company in Europe that we've partnered with and bought a lot of cars from and looking forward to doing a lot more business so uh, let's go ahead and get the trailer opened up and uh, we can go ahead and pop the and yeah please the all right oh he's not kidding so in this trailer we've got a darn special car that has uh, quite a great history it's had just one family ownership since new I'm not gonna quite uh, spoil the surprise yet, but it is one of just a handful built. It's a European only spec car. That means it's eligible for import and uh, uh, part of the 25 year rule. It's been in Germany its whole life. It's all original panels. It's all original paint. It's no stories, no drama. It's just been fully serviced by a Mark specialist in Germany before making the voyage over. Uh, it's a six speed manual. It has a uh, lot of uh, firsts in its production history. It has, uh, well, the first V12 made it with a six speed. Can you guess what that is yet? 1510 built for the world. And there it is. An 850 CSI that has a whopping 42,000 kilometers. It's Diamond Schwartz over black and has a crazy service history since new. The European spec 850s have uh, a couple options the US cars didn't have, such as four wheel steering. Uh, also, we'll have the teardrop motorsport mirrors and there were three different wheel options you could get with these eights one two wheels that we could not get uh, the throwing stars would be the only wheels we could get in the u.s as we all know getting a little dark in here but these have the optional bbs wheels that i am quite excited to see fit on this special car so I'm gonna stage the camera here while we go to work and get this safely unboxed and unpackaged so we can uh, get the car out and uh, take a, a much closer look. All right. We are now out of the container and over into super secret warehouse number two, where we can get a really good first look at this beauty and the condition, first impressions. I'm very happy. Trust is a valuable thing. It's something that's quite rare in the car industry, especially the used car industry, as we all know, and unfortunately can um, commiserate on. Uh, and I'm quite pleased with this acquisition. It is so far everything that I was led to believe that it was. The condition is really without any major flaws relative to the mileage. It's just a tick over 25,000 miles, 42,354 kilometers. And it's time for a quick stop at the fueling station as you don't usually 
ship with much fuel in for safety reasons. And yeah, headliner's quite good. All the pillars and sunroof cover are good. Dash is not warped. A lot of times they'll bubble right here on that uh, binnacle. Check all the power seat functions here next and get the car over to the workshop and start going through everything. I am, uh, yeah, I'm pleased. This is great. Let's take a look under here. Ah, yes. The S70 5.6 liter V12. There is a, uh, I guess a thing that uh, you can balance a nickel right there on a properly running BMW V12. I've not tried that, but uh, I would like to have a nickel in my pocket right now. That'd be kind of fun. Maybe we'll do that, uh, take a picture of it, uh, or a video for in the, during the PPI. Need to add a washer cap, but you know, little stuff. That's what EAG's here for, to catch all that stuff. So 100% turnkey product is what's delivered, and that's certainly what we're gonna do with this beautiful car. After I log some fun kilometers and make sure that everything is doing exactly what it should be doing. Probably pop up headlights. Let's go take a drive. We are gonna head to the filling station first thing. Put some Shell 93 into the system. And then off to the workshop where we will go through all the systems and ensure that everything's in working order and anything we can find room for improvement, do just that. Yeah, this thing drives fantastic. Not even a flat spot on the tire. It's hard to resist giving it the beans here, but, but without uh, any fuel, <laughs> I am not uh, gonna risk it. The heat really works. I had to turn that down. I've got one row of pixels out. Of course, just one. <laughs> better, better on us than the next guy, though. So we will uh, go ahead and rehab that. Uh, as soon as we get some fuel, we are certainly going to have to open this thing up a little bit. It's already dirty, so might as well. Oh, man. And we made it. All right. All right, let's top her off and uh, keep on rolling. Well, that didn't take long. We didn't get a half a tank of gas in before somebody stopped uh, and had to <laughs> take a closer look and ask a couple questions about the car. Well, windows on this thing, if you've not had an 8 Series before, and this is just all across the 8 Series platform, at 100 miles an hour, the windows automatically go up. Sport button here. We'll, oh yeah.
more everything than the standard eights. size that we've received here in North America, 225 of those, um, will all be OBD-1 cars, and the, uh, well, so will the 96s and 7s of the European spec production. They went on to build the standard 850 in the European market until 1999, so extended past our 1997 cutoff for the, the, v, the standard V12, the CI, which I'm not sure if there's any other BMW model um, market that not only started before the U.S. Uh, but also extended into after. Usually the U.S. gets the, the last bit of production, typically especially since we're a little bit late to the um, uh, the new party, typically by a year or so, you know, 1999 for the E39 M5 would be an example, or the E30, E28 M5, or even the E34 M5, all of them came to the European markets before ours. And this is a 93 A50 CSI came to our markets. Ah, we had two rows of pixels out on the uh, check control and the other one's back on and that's typically how they, no, nope, nope, it's back on now. Um, so finding all those little nuances is why we drive the cars and go through the paces that we do and certainly one of the motivating reasons why we'll buy them back with confidence knowing they left as good as they could be. If we can come to sell some of this stuff. <laughs> All right, well, we are back at EAG, and go ahead and get the car up on a lift and uh, keep on going. 